This should be a huge wake-up call for all Americans. Yes, Trump crushed the presidential debate last night, but America lost as a whole. Today, we're going to break down how the next four months is going to be absolutely wild in America. It's time to buckle up. We're going to pull ourselves to a 30,000-foot overview. I'm not going to get into the arguing back left and right. We're going to look at facts, figures, numbers, logic. And if you're a crypto investor, here's what I'm going to tell you. Is that this, believe it or not, is going to be favorable for crypto. Remember Larry Fink, the largest asset manager in the world in 2023, flipped and said now Bitcoin is a flight to quality. Kathy Wood says it's a flight to safety. They switched their whole narrative. Think about that for just a moment. So that's the approach we're going to take. We're going to pull ourselves out of this left and right. We're going to take the middle ground, and I'm going to pull you back up to a 30,000-foot overview and share with you what is actually happening. So let's first break down the response from CNN, from the news stations, and what happened last night. So as this was going on, CNN was already going after Biden, right? So we all know, pretty clear, that Biden did not do well last night. But here's the problem with this, guys. The world is watching us. Every single world leader was watching us last night. Think about that for a moment. We're on the verge of World War III. In 2022, as soon as Russia invaded Ukraine, and I'm going to take you into something very important in a couple minutes here. Ray Dalio is changing world order. As soon as Russia took us into Ukraine, Biden, the first thing he did was put sanctions on them for the SWIFT system. Okay. At the same time, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, since Bitcoin's inception in 2009, have been working to de-dollarize. Okay. There's a big change coming. Number one. Number two, America's financial system started to collapse after the bond yields inverted in 2023. They activated the bank bail-in committee. We've had a 19% accumulative inflation. I don't know what that guy was talking about when he said groceries that cost $100 in 2020 cost $120 now in 2024. I don't know what grocery store you're going to, my friend. There was a beautiful TikTok that was put out just recently where a guy took his Walmart order for $120 for groceries for a whole month for a single, he was like 23-year-old young man, right? You know, just, just some, you know, you know, like top of ramen shit like that, right? Now, he did a reorder. He hit the reorder button. And I don't know if it was exaggerating, but it was close to $400. Now, that might be an exaggeration, but I'm telling you what, I'm feeling it. We feel it when we go to the grocery store. We feel it. I mean, I'm a single dad. I you know, I make dinner for my kids every night. I know every single time I go to the grocery store, it's 60 bucks. It used to be 30 bucks to feed them dinner. So it has changed. Okay. So during the presidential debate, oh, here's another thing to think about. Write this down. Why was it so early? Well, now we know why, guys. There's a different game being played. This is the first time first time ever that a presidential debate has started this early. There's a reason why they knew this shit show was coming. So that part we have to be cautious of. It doesn't matter if you're left or right now. There's people that I know that were big time left Biden supporters that flipped last night. They're like, whoa, holy cow. There's a reason why it was so early, guys. You're going to see an absolute shit show on the left side now. They're going to be working to get a different candidate in to the presidency. And the next four months, there's going to be haymakers being thrown. Okay. This is the changing world order. This is a completely different world we're going into. Okay. At the back end, I'm going to share with you what I've been doing to protect my family, my mind. The battle's not against anybody, the battle's against my own consciousness. So, this is how the news is responding to this. So, takeaways from CNN's presidential Biden uh, Trump debate Biden war room blog. Uh, what has it got? Biden freezes before Medicare. Um, I mean, it's it's really bad. Frustrated Kamala Harris clashes with Anderson Cooper. This is CNN. <laughs> CNN, Biden's disastrous debate pitches his reelection bid into crisis. CNN, that was painful. These were his biggest supporters. It's pretty interesting, guys. It got really, really ugly. I haven't even watched Kamala Harris's response on this. Okay, so you can go through, you can see the news. Okay, so that's that's the back and forth. Okay, he said that the border patrol backs Biden. And this was crazy. They actually pinned this to their um, border patrol union um, 
uh, Twitter page here. It says, 11 hours ago, to be clear, we never have ever supported, oh, it's my dyslexia. To be clear, we never have and never will endorse Biden. 24 million views, reshared 113,000 times, over 370,000 likes. This is not good for the Democrats, guys. This is not good. Okay, so that's what so America didn't win last night. You guys realize Trump won the debate clearly. Clearly, he was poised, he did a good job. But America lost last night. Here's why. Okay. Guys, look at this. This is Ray Dalio's changing world order. I've been presenting to this to you guys since 2020. I've been sharing with you guys that this is coming. We are now. In 15 through 18, at the deepest level, it has changed so much from 2020 to 2024. You got loss of competitiveness. We, I mean, literally every world leader is watching us, and they are. We are the laughing stock of the world right now. That was embarrassing. That was our president of our United States could even hold a sentence together. Some of the stuff he said was like, "What is he saying right now?" The leader of Russia is watching this. The leader of China is watching this. All the world leaders, Japan, El Salvador, they are all watching this. As El Salvadorian president literally radically transforms his country. Russia, Putin, when Tucker Carlson did the interview, he's like, you're creating boogeyman, dude. Like, stop. El Salvador president is like, what's going on in America? He explains how we're just printing money out of thin air to buy bonds. Guys. We are the largest economy in the world, and we dominate everybody's currency. So what do you think they're thinking right now? They're literally pulling out their popcorn buckets, and they're getting ready for the next four months. We are on the verge of World War III right now. And that was our presidential leader. So I'm taking the middle ground, and I'm focusing on how I can protect my family, our wealth, and our future. Here's the thing, though. This is going to make Bitcoin and crypto. So when we say Bitcoin, I'm going to say the whole crypto ecosystem much more favorable. Now, is it going to shoot up right now? No, it's going to follow a cycle. But I'm telling you what, guys, I guarantee you there's not it's not by chance. It's not by chance that all of a sudden regulations coming in in 2024. It's not by chance that they held the ripple case all the way till, you know, Brad Garland has said maybe September. It's not by chance that all these things are happening, guys. The next 100 years after November 4th is going to be a completely different monetary system. Industrial to technical, Web 2.0 to Web 3.0. Archaic banking system to new quantum banking system, okay? So this is it right here. Large debts. We have massive amounts of debts. They talked about it last night. We printed more money than in history. Internal conflict. Boom, it's here, guys. The next four months is, is the next right here. 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, internal conflict. Boom, last night started this massive internal conflict. Left is like confused now. They're like, oh my gosh. And now we're going to try to figure out, I guarantee they're going to bring a new candidate in. And that's going to be interesting. That's going to be a key factor on the next four months and how this is going to play out. Loss of reserve currency. Again, people keep commenting on here. I'm not saying that the dollar is going to collapse tomorrow. It's the strongest currency in the world. America is the strongest country in the world. We're the most innovative. We're still the greatest country in the world. Okay. But there is a changing world order right now. We are changing monetary systems. I believe that there's going to be a bag of currencies in the future that are going to move through a system very quickly, and they're going to be transferred on a rail, right? And the monetary system is going to move like that. No longer the SWIFT system, right? There'll be ISO messaging really fast. Money will move really fast. Okay, and there'll be a bag of currencies that regulates how the currencies are um, valued, right? So we're going to have a changing world order in regards to that. Weak leadership. I mean, there you go. Last night, I mean, even his camp, even his camp was going off on him, off on him during the speed. They're like, whoa, his own camp, his own news stations were going off on him last night. Like, they're like, what? This, they're saying the word disaster, like they, things like that. So like, that's, that's our, that's our president, guys. That's our leader. God is my present CEO and Jesus Christ is my God, Christ Jesus, Yeshua. Civil war and revolution. So that's where the the we start to turn against each other within America. And this is polarizing right now. This is absolutely polarizing. So yes, Trump did with the debate last night, but we lost, guys. 
we lost in America. And I believe our battle is not against anybody. Our battle is against our own consciousness. So for me and my family, I broke this down deeply inside with the Warriors last night. It was like, or yesterday at our Warrior call, it was like, man, what I'm doing is uh, the, the last four years financial literacy, guys. I understand what money is. We're creating very strict budgets, non-negotiables and debts, minimal debts. And what are the non-negotiables? Everything outside of that is invested. I'm putting it into these speculative capital markets like cryptocurrency on the left side of the risk pyramid because last night, think about that. People are like, that's who's running the American monet or the world monetary system. We're hanging by a thread needing to lower interest rates. The debate was early for some reason <laughs> because they knew that was going to happen last night. So it's going to get really, really bumpy. So we have put blinders on, man. Fitness, mindset, fasting, God, Jesus Christ, foundation, uh, budgeting, creating cash flow, taking that cash flow, investing in capital markets. When that stuff starts to go up in 2020, back into 2024, 2025, we're pulling out of the capital markets 50%. We're taking that house money that we've earned, this free, amazing money that's going to be created throughout this new innovative technology, and we're pulling it down the risk pyramid. We're insuring our wealth, getting more cash flow in businesses. We're going more into precious metals, and we're going into real estate. And on top of that, we're protecting it with a trust. But last night, again, Trump may have won the debate, guys, but America lost last night. I mean, Ray Dalio is changing world order is so unbelievably accurate. It's so unbelievably accurate. It was like, that's all I could think about when I was watching that Ray Dalio's book, The Changing World Order. We're manifesting getting him on the channel here because I just would love to hear his insight on this because it's just so important right now. So important that you build a foundation. For me, it's God, man. I love God with all my heart and I love you as I love God. I treat others as I want to be treated. And I pulled the log out of my eye before I pulled the straw to yours. We follow Christ Jesus, Yeshua, and our family. Jesus Christ, whatever you want to call him. I call him Yeshua, Christ Jesus, Jesus. We follow the principles of Jesus Christ, the teachings of Jesus Christ. We love God with all our heart. We're good stewards of our money. We're investing to make sure our family will protect our future. And most of all, we're staying present in what we can control. Not what we can't control. We're not battling against. This stuff is important to watch right somebody said to me last night well why would you even watch that up because it it is very important to the next hundred years for my kids and i have to make strategic moves i don't have the answers i don't know what switches are being pulled but i do know that if you study history if you study history you can predict the future pretty closely and i'll tell you what america did not win last night people all over the world were watching and going wow they literally are pulling out their popcorn buckets, kicking up their chairs, and all eyes are on America right now. And the best thing we can do is get our shit together. Get back to in God we trust, family, faith, you know, looking at our finances, investing in things that move our family forward, getting out of this greed state of mind, out of this force, right? Jealousy, anger, greed, all this desire for material things and move and have the courage to move up into authenticity, gratitude, unconditional love, support for each other, love for humanity. So again, America lost last night, guys, but we are one. We are one under God, in my opinion. So I love you guys very, very much. I appreciate you. Again, if you need any support at all, we get hundreds of messages on Instagram. We're trying to keep up with it. TikTok, we're, it's hard to keep up with. We're getting like three to 400 a day. On Instagram, we're getting about 100 and we're able to keep up with them. Um, but if you do need support, a lot of people ask me how I insure my wealth. Um, I use insurance. I pull my profits, right? House money, and I insure it. Guarantee my principal. I compound that money every seven years and I have access to it tax-free. It's very attractive for me. It works very well. I've been using it since 2020. But if you need support with that or if you need to understand how that works, fill out a needs assessment, inscription this video, or in my social media platform, just click the link. Um, again, a team member reach out to remember, we do not invest people's money. Okay, that's very important. There's a lot of scammers out there trying to use our name and stuff like that. We'll never ask you about your crypto portfolio. You'll never transact with us in sending money back and forth. 
so you'll work with an insurance company. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. Um, and God bless you. God bless your family. If you made it this far, warriors, rise, comment, love you. Talk to you soon.